We're here with Andrew Campbell from American Magic. You're trimming on port side today. Looked like a bit of a tricky day here in Barcelona. Stop and start. Ultimately, it looked like an early end to the day. Yeah. Can you tell us what went on? Yeah, I mean, we were kind of chasing in between rain squalls today. Is winter doesn't want to quit here. You know, I thought we weren't going to go to the shorts all the time and I uh, got my dry suit on one more day here. So that's the kind of day it was. It was puffy and gusty in between the rain cells. And, um, you know, we made the most of the time that we had, but yeah, at the end of the day there, we, we ended up breaking something and, and had to come in. Can you tell us what broke? Yeah, we had a, like a jib sheet system issue there that uh, it's not something we could have fixed on the water. So we had to come in and take a look at it. Yeah, it looks like a lot of jib, a lot of focus on the jib system these days. Uh, would you say it's a more complex system than your main sheet system? Uh, than the main sheet system? That's a good question. I mean, they're both uh, complex in their own way. You know, the I think all the teams are learning about how the jib track geometry works and uh, making sure that we're happy with that setup and, and how it's all working and getting control from the sailor side that we expect, um, you know, through the maneuvers and, and through the straight lines. Um, I don't think it's necessarily more complex than the main sheet system. They're both pretty complex, but you know, we're, we're chasing, um, ultimately we're just chasing what we know is the best way to trim the sails and um, to get the, the shapes that the designers are asking for. So, um, you know, we're trying to make it complex enough that we can make all those shapes happen. Would you say it's a development on the 3D sheeting concept we've seen more visible on the, on the INEOS T6, for example? We can't really see yours, it's below deck, but. Yeah, well, there, there, are, there are different ways to skin that cat, you know, to try and get um, you know, the jib lead working um, in a way without uh, having it all above deck, if that makes sense. You know, you don't really want to have uh, anything on deck, then you can afford not to, on, you know, with the boats going this fast. So the more that we can keep under deck, the, the better off we all are. And, um, you know, that, that adds to some of the complication of it, that you're trying to make sure it's streamlined and, and out of the wind. In the mornings, we see, we see the testing tied possibly to the flight control system. Is it connected in any way? the jib to the flight control system. Uh, I think I'm safe to say that it's not really. We're, um, you know, we run uh, pretty independent of one another. Andrew, thank you for your time. Sure, man.